And in the Peninsula Division, Frankston YCW make it back-to-back -back with a big win over Karingal. Well, Benny, there was a massive crowd out there at Frankston. I put it somewhere between four and 5,000. And I'll tell you what, you know that if you can't walk across the ground at half-time and get hit in the head with a footy, you'd know all about it. Then there's a big crowd and uh, lots of people jam-packed in both sides of the ground there. And it was fantastic atmosphere. But uh, Frankston YCW, what a good win. They avenged their second semi-final loss to Karingal, Kev. Yes, absolutely. They were tremendous. Uh, wasn't much in it at a quarter time, but six goals to two in that second quarter really set the stage and they were dominant from then on. Seven goals in that last quarter to wrap things up. Lewis Roberts, he was the uh, best on ground medalist. He was the chief destroyer. He kicked four goals. Cole Hutchinson was also terrific for them. Another four goal bag up there for him. And Tony Lester was also another good contributor. Yeah, they had plenty of good players, particularly that forward line, Benny. Byron Barry, he was fantastic. Ash Eames, the big ruckman, he was dominant throughout. And Steve Roberts also in the better players there for the Stone Cats. Karingal, though, Benny, had some good players. Bevan Malloy, the veteran, he was fantastic. Got over 30 possessions in a losing side, which was a tremendous effort. Luke Van Ray and the coach Brendan Dunn also in the better players. Alan Williams, Brendan laid for his five goals. Chris Hay was also good. He bagged four. Yes, but just not enough consistency there from the Karingal players. They would have been pretty disappointed with their efforts. But I tell you who weren't disappointed, Benny, and that was the Frankston YCW crowd. Here they go in that last quarter, holding up the banner. Bye-bye, Karingle, and giving it to the Karingle supporters in that last quarter. There was plenty of atmosphere over there on that outer side. A bit of by-play in that last quarter added to the atmosphere. But when that siren went, the players and the supporters were out celebrating that fantastic win. There they are, up on the dais, the Premiership Cup being held aloft, all the players getting up and celebrating a back-to-back -back Premiership win there for Frankston YCW.